What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Um, today I'm going to be doing a quick and short video about the rear rack system on my Ranger Raptor that holds my rooftop tent uh, for my camping trips and stuff like that. And uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I had a question on the Ford Ranger Raptor Club Australia um, asking for some photos. So I thought next best thing is probably to do a video of how I mounted it up and just my thoughts about it and probably the best solution for them. So if we have a look here, this is my rooftop tent and it's got these brackets here. So these brackets, they're basically just your standard Rhino bar. I think they're about a, a 1650. Um, I can't remember the part number of these. I might write them up on screen if I can remember, but basically they're a pin style. So you flip that out and the pin uh, pops out and holds itself into place and the way that works inside the vehicle If we come up here So I've got these rails here, which are I think an RT14. They're your sort of uh, stock standard flat um, Riveted rails so you can see they're all riveted along here and then the base of the mount sits there so if you take that cap off that's where it sits in and that's where the pin goes so it's a fairly easy system to take on and off makes it quick and easy and stuff like that and it's just a an easy solution to put on a rooftop tent for a weekend away and then take it off that way you don't constantly cover up uh, your back window now the issue with this that I've found. I've taken her on two camping trips. Um, the last one I did was out uh, out west where there's a lot of corrugation as you could probably see from uh, this quick video here. And the only problem with that, that I found was because you don't feel the vibrations inside the cab because it's got your super soft uh, mounts for the body. So it absorbs a lot of that vibration that you get through the chassis, um, even with the Fox shocks and everything like that, which are superb by the way. But the problem is the tray is hard mounted to the chassis itself. So it absorbs a lot more of the vibrations that you get when you go off-road. And the problem I've had, if you can see this, it's really starting to uh, wobble. And the problem is, because it's riveted in, um, and you can't actually reach in behind it because it's a, wait for that plane to go over. So yeah, like I was saying, because it's riveted in and you can't get uh, below it to put in a washer, all you've got is just that one rivet going through basically one layer of steel. Now the problem with that is after a while, the lateral motion of when you're going off-road begins to actually pull out those rivets. And I mean, there's probably, uh, let's count, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 10 rivets per side but that is still not enough to actually hold these in from the lateral motion. So it begins to pull them out. Now there is a solution to that. You can add more rivets, um, which means drilling more holes in your body and it's not a guarantee solution. Um, so I might actually change this up. So to Peter um, on the Ranger Raptor Club that asked me that question, I probably wouldn't recommend this. I'd probably recommend the uh, PSR ones that I'll probably throw up on the screen here now. So here we've got the PSR. So you can see how it uh, mounts on the inside of the tub there. The good thing is they also come with uh, your three different types. So your roof height, half height, and your quarter height. So you've got variability. So unfortunately, I don't have any really good photos of it sitting on the back, but this is about the best I've got. So you can see that it just sort of sits on the racks down the back there, but it's really good for your weight distribution and stuff like that, but not so good for lateral motion. And the reason I'd go with those ones is just because um, they've got uh, the angle brackets that allows it to 
sit on top and down the side. So when you look at this, hey, you've got your spot welds running along here. That's a double layer of steel that's uh, holding in position and it's bolted straight to that. So it stops the lateral motion. So it'll never basically bend your brackets and pull out rivets or anything like that. And also sits on top. So it'll hold the weight of the thing itself and then uh, should be a job done. And it'll be just about as easy to take off, but instead of unclipping them as the ones I've got down there work, they would uh, be just eight bolts. And I mean, eight bolts, even if you've only got a spanner, it's uh, pretty damn easy to take off. And it's a bit of a peace of mind as well, because when I drive it with this one now, I'm so worried about these rivets pulling out that I actually run a safety chain from the front of my tray to the roof in case it does ever break off it doesn't fall off and hit a car behind me it just ruins my tray because I'd rather replace a, a pretty or well, an expensive tray but at least it won't cost someone their lives so I'm gonna get rid of these eventually when I can afford that bracket um, I was thinking about getting the uh, flip side one that has the gas struts um, that way I can access my uh, angle and my Waco without ever have to, having to like pull half my stuff out the back. But in saying that, I might just get the one that's the half height. That way I can still access everything, but I don't have to pay the extra money for the tilting one. But that's something I'll decide at a later date, whether I want the tall one or the short one. And um, if I do take the short one I will get a tilting one so I can access the stuff inside the tray but if I get the half height or the roof height probably not the roof height because I don't like uh, how it ruins the aerodynamics of the vehicle um, if I get the half height it's got plenty of space to actually access everything inside my tray so uh, I hope that answers your question um, if you've got any more just chuck them in the, the comments section down below and I'll try and answer them for you so thank you very much for watching I'll catch you on the next video.